healing and um, therapy has a lot of baggage to it. You know, you feel like despite how much social change, you know, we can all try to implement, it still feels like, oh, I'm broken. I need to go somewhere because I'm broken and A, B and C, you know, but it's so much more than that. And when you start to describe it as an art form, it's it becomes something, it becomes you know, not so much about healing, even though that is what you're doing, but you also become, um, it becomes about self-expression because art mm -hmm. is all about self-expression. And I think at the end of the day, if you're thriving in life, there's a very strong, unique element to that. You know, I'm expressing myself authentically. I'm, I get one shot at life, you know, um, something that I always try to remember in my head, in my head, because I've only got one is, um, I don't remember, um, for better or for worse, the names of my great grandparents. So three generations, Tom Ahern is kind of non-existent, really, unless you add, you know, if you go out there and try to find me. Um, so I, I really get one life here. So the art of self-healing is, is also the art of self-expression. They're almost kind of the same thing. But so I absolutely just subscribe to that. And for me, um, like with with most people, I, I believe on the path, um, I, um, I got to a place where I really had to start listening. Um, it, I was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder in 2014. It is something that I, that I still manage um, um, day to day. Um, it's far better than it was. And I, it's, it's become um, part of something that I enjoy about myself now. So it's not so much a thing of this is a difficulty that I just have to lug with me like a big Santa sack every day or, or a rock chain mm -hmm. to my leg. But it's it's um it's it's something that also gives me lots of other things that I really quite like about myself. So that that's um that's me. But you know, I was very rigid in my thinking. Um, I was implicitly aware. Of, you know, I don't think I could explicitly tell anyone at the time, but for, throughout my whole life. Um, and then in 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 the late years of two thousand thirteen, I started to just get very intrusive thoughts about harming all sorts of people, um, harming young children, doing terrible things to young children, terrible things to animals, violently sexual, um, intrusive thoughts about friends and family members. Um, and I had no idea where it came from. And there was a lot of shame tied into all of that because mm -hmm. I didn't really have a relationship with my mind at that time. So like with all of us, when we begin, I've kind of thought um, that my thoughts were who I was, you know, and I thought, wow, I'm, 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 sadistic masochistic um mm -hmm. i'm something's um, wrong with me something's mm -hmm. wrong with me yeah something mm -hmm. and something's really really wrong with mm. me and um and uh you know as, as the path would go I, I spoke to a therapist in the beginning and i that was the first time i'd really you know embodied the fact that hey i need some help here and when you kind of mm. do that pandora's box opens and it was worse <laughs> mm -hmm. in the beginning because i'm like fine i'm finally looking at this stuff mm -hmm. um and it, 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 um, it was very interesting moving away from sickness to health. I then started to learn more about the mind and it became just the most, I mean, the irony of it was it became an obsession, you know, but it was wonderful. I could mm -hmm. not stop reading. And this was someone who, um, never read at school, wasn't very good at school because school's so narrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hadn't really found my lane um, mm -hmm. because how can you find a lane when there's only one lane? <laughs> totally. I remember yeah. thinking I wasn't a reader or that I just didn't, I would like, I would describe myself as that, like, I'm not really a reader. Yep. And then when I discovered, you know, psychology and self-help books in my early twenties, I was like, where have these books been? Like yes. I can plow through these books. I don't yes. care about history and English and literature, but like these ones, like I can't put them down. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah.